here we have two batteries for an electric off-road wheelchair called Zoom. It's developed here in Sweden, I think it's manufactured in China. And we have never actually gotten them in for repair, but we know this case, we have this case. This, there, this case exists in at least two versions, two heights. And this is the bigger one. We work with it for some time. We build our own batteries in this, so we know it inside and out. This is the golden motor version. They have dual batteries on this uh, off-road wheelchair. <laughs> for, I think it's a four-wheel drive wheelchair and the uh, one battery is for two wheel and the other is for two wheels, most likely. So if you get stuck, you still have one battery left or if there is a fail on one of the motors, you will still have one battery. Uh, I think it's for redundancy and also because you cannot fit that much energy inside one of these cases since they're using life before. So these are 48 volt, 10 ampere hour batteries and they have modified it. I don't know if Golden Motors has done that, but this is a Liechtenstein connector. I do not really like them, uh, but they're used since they're kind of waterproof. Um, I don't know if they are rated for high power. They, they, they say that this is um, 2000 watt per battery or 4000 watt per scooter or something, but they're really thin wires. I think aluminum wires and it goes through the on-off switch. So, so I don't think it's pulling more than like 500 watts per, per battery, maybe 1000 watts or something. But he did not like the original Anderson. They just, just cut that off and install a Liechtenstein connector. Fine, no problem. I think they're even unused. So maybe they did that at Golden Motors as well. We received similar battery packs before, uh, not used on Zoom, but for electric bike because Golden Motor is one, has been one of the bigger, bigger sites that sell e-bike kit with their own batteries. I, I even had one of these myself, but I was so disappointed because it has lipo cells and not cylindrical cells. I wanted to open it up and look at the cylindrical cells, but they were using lipos in my case. Yeah, I do not know which brand, but I'm guessing um, Lichen, which have orange 18650s that we got a lot of, like before. <laughs> a really strange config. This is most likely for 14S or for dual uh, 7S. Custom holders for this case for 2060s, 50s. I've never seen that. And also custom nickel. <sighs> Wait. No? They're connected. The blocks are connected there in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just so cool. I've never seen this before. He says none of the batteries can charge. Wait. It's supposed to be live before. Then it's supposed to be like 16s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 13s, so it must be standard lithium iron, not like before. And these should be 3.3 amper hours each. I don't know, the other battery should be the same. It would be really weird if it's something else. Scrap paper. And here we can check the voltage. It's 47.38, but they are from 2011. So, so, so she, even if you replace the BMS, if that was the problem, you wouldn't be able to travel far. Because Chinese lithium cells that are almost 10 years. Yeah, it's full voltage, 48.47 volts. So let's check the other battery. Forty-eight volt, ten ampere hours, eleven, eleven twenty-eight. So, are they using? Yes, they're using prismatic blocks. One of the other golden motor videos we did, they used also these blocks, and then one of the blocks were dead, and it still took a charge. But this is not the same. Let's see if this is um. Yeah, this must be a sixteen S like before. 
Is it? Yes, this is like before. Okay, <laughs> they even have a temp sensor up here. And they have elephant snot on the screws. Let's check the full voltage. 55. So this one should be fully charged. Every cell should be 3.3. Okay, how can it be 3.45? Life before cells don't hold a charge that high. How can it be 3.415? Must be some kind of special life before or <laughs> they added standard lithium cells and then they just undercharged them. Do we have a dead cell or is it just, no? It's all 3.45. Point four two, three point four five, three point four five, three point four five, three point four four, three point four five. Yeah, so all all the cells are okay in this battery as well. So let's check the charger. Chargers. <laughs> They're dual batteries, so dual chargers. Yeah, I already see a problem. This battery should be 14S. He has been overcharging it to 58 volts. That's not good. That's really not good. If this were 14S, fine. So we have to replace it with 14S lithium for this to work. So we have a green light and a red light. And okay, I never seen a straight RCA with weather protection. Does it want to charge? No? So the cells are okay, but they, they don't want to charge. Could there be a charger problem? Yeah, this one has no output at all. This one goes on. That one charges the battery. But it doesn't charge that one and it should have 58 volts. So we have one working charger. No, nope, the fuse is fine. So it has one bad charger, one good charger, one of the batteries charged with one of the chargers. So old, we will offer him new charger and new battery pack. Not with life before, but with standard lithium. So so good and cheap now we can build twice the capacity in each battery and not none of this strange whatever it is